Thank you, Cher. I really appreciate the opportunity to present this study. As explicited, I don't have conflict of interest. The aims of study was to estimate the prevalence of pelvic floor disorders in elderly women in Petrolina City, located in, in northeastern Brazil. Petrolina has almost 344,000 inhabitants and 85% of the population is attended by 40 primary health care units including rural and urban areas. So we performed a cross-sectional and descriptive study calculating the sample size of 376 volunteers aging 60 years old or older. Then selection process was determined by means of multi-stage sampling. In the first stage, 20 public health care units were randomly selected. In second stage, one community health agent was drawn from each primary unit. Finally, in third age stage, each selected agent visited 15 elderly women randomly selected when the sample size for that primary unit exceeded 15 volunteers, another agent was randomly selected. For this study, we used a sociodemographic questionnaire and the FAS, the FIGO Assessment Scoring System, a validated instrument to Portuguese language, which prolapse urinary and bowel symptoms were obtained, as well as prolapse staging by physical examination. Almost 400 volunteers were studied. Only 90% was oct octogenarian. 57% had more than five gestations and 70% had overweight or obesity. In relation to sign and symptoms, 56% had urinary findings, mainly urinary incontinence and storage symptoms. 35% had bowel symptoms, mainly constipation. 22% reported bulge symptoms. However, 77% had prolapse stage two or more on physical examination. So the present study evaluated pelvic floor disorders by active search in the community determining the prevalence of pelvic organ prolapse through physical examination. Self-report can underestimate the true prevalence of prolapse. Urinary incontinence, storage symptoms, and bowel emptying difficulties are the most prevalent pelvic floor disorders in elderly women. Thank you very much for the opportunity. <laughs>